tomatoes, which are beneficial on their own, can be combined with foods that enhance or weaken their benefits. It is important to consume tomatoes correctly to maximize their health benefits. Incorrectly, combining foods with tomatoes can be detrimental to your health. In this video, we will cover the three foods that are the worst to combine with tomatoes and the three that are best to combine with them to prevent cancer and dementia. This video will be extremely informative and helpful. So, if you want to become a master of your health, click like and let's get started. When we eat, we don't just consume one ingredient in every meal. Ingredients complement each other in flavor and nutrients. But just because the flavors go well together doesn't mean the nutrients do too. Eating foods with bad combinations can harm the body and even lead to serious problems such as cancer and dementia. Each natural ingredient has its own beneficial nutrients. By knowing them and including them in your diet, you are making the best choices for your health. Today's star is the tomato, recognized by Time magazine as one of the top 10 superfoods. A true wonder food, tomatoes are rich in nutrients such as vitamin C, potassium, and dietary fiber. They also contain lycopene and antioxidants. There's even a funny saying, when tomatoes turn red, doctors turn pale, implying that eating tomatoes helps you stay healthy and stay away from doctors. But wait, did you know that even such healthy tomatoes can become unhealthy when combined with certain foods? Let's find out together and right now, let's take a look at the three worst combinations with tomatoes that can negatively affect your health and the three best foods that pair perfectly with tomatoes. The first and worst combination with tomatoes is sugar. Are you surprised? On hot summer days, it is common to sprinkle tomatoes generously with sugar, add ice and enjoy their sweet flavor or even marinate them in sugar. But let me tell you, sugar and tomatoes are a terrible combination. It's all about the fact that sugar destroys the nutritional value of tomatoes. Even if you eat them for health, the added sugar negates all the health benefits. When we eat, our bodies use vitamin B to break down sugar. So when you sprinkle sugar on tomatoes, the vitamin B in them is used up and the amount of vitamin B your body absorbs is reduced. In addition, eating sugar raises blood sugar levels, which is an even bigger problem. We all know that sugar is bad for your health, right? Sure, if you occasionally sprinkle sugar on your tomatoes, it's not a big deal. However, our diet is not made up of a single product, but a whole set of foods. The problem arises when we regularly consume refined carbohydrates and foods high in sugar, and then add sugary desserts to them. According to data analyzed by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, sugar consumption in the country already exceeds recommended guidelines, and the habit of eating sugary desserts is causing a serious spike in our annual sugar intake. Frequent consumption of high sugar foods can lead to a decrease in brain volume, especially the hippocampus, which is the center of memory. So what happens when your brain shrinks? Because the hippocampus is crucial for brain functions such as reasoning, planning, decision-making, and memory, it significantly increases the risk of developing dementia. In addition to type 2 diabetes, it can even increase your risk of developing cancer. For the sake of your health, you need to cut down on your sugar intake today. So what is the right way to consume tomatoes? The first best combination I recommend with tomatoes is, oddly enough, salt. Sounds a little strange, doesn't it? You might think that both sugar and salt are unhealthy and should be reduced. Of course, consuming them in large quantities is not good, but combining tomatoes with a little salt is beneficial, especially when you consider that tomatoes are very rich in vitamin C, which is essential for collagen production and fighting cancer. This not only protects your health, but also keeps your skin healthy and youthful. The problem, however, is that the vitamin C in tomatoes is easily oxidized when it comes in contact with oxygen in the air. If you sprinkle salt on the cut surface of tomatoes, a thin barrier is formed that helps prevent vitamin C from oxidizing. Still worried about sodium and blood pressure? Tomatoes are very rich in potassium, which lowers blood pressure and reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease. When you sprinkle salt on tomatoes, it balances potassium and sodium, which has a positive effect on cellular and energy metabolism. In addition, 
Salt sprinkled on tomatoes is eliminated from the body due to the diuretic action of potassium and does not lead to a significant increase in blood pressure or other side effects. You can safely enjoy it without any worries. Secondly, it is completely undesirable to combine tomatoes with spinach. You might think that eating vitamin C-rich foods like tomatoes along with spinach, which is rich in iron, is beneficial, especially if you suffer from anemia or diabetes. And you would be right. However, for those with weak kidneys, this combination is particularly harmful. The problem lies in oxalates. Tomatoes, which can build up calcium in the body, are rich in oxalates, and spinach is perhaps the best known source of oxalates. Even if you're not familiar with the term, you probably know that spinach should always be soaked in boiling water before consumption. When oxalates bind to calcium in the blood, they form small, sharp crystals that accumulate in the body and can lead to stone formation. This can cause muscle pain, decreased muscle strength, and can even lead to kidney stones and cancer. Oxalates are effectively removed by boiling or stewing, so those with weak kidneys should be sure to cook spinach and tomatoes this way. Here is another good reason not to mix tomatoes and spinach. Iron and spinach can interfere with the absorption of lopinado from tomatoes. Tomatoes are considered a superfood precisely because of their lopinat content. Lopinat is a miracle ingredient that acts as a powerful antioxidant, reduces oxidative stress and inflammation in the body, and prevents cancer. Studies have shown that lopinatum has an incredible effect in preventing various cancers, including lung, prostate, breast, and colon cancer. It also benefits vascular health, providing protection against atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. However, according to a study by American health professionals, eating tomatoes along with spinach can have the absorption of that miracle ingredient, lopinat. Therefore, from now on, it is better not to mix tomatoes and spinach. Instead of spinach, the second best combination with tomatoes is the king of proteins, meat. In fact, tomatoes go well with all kinds of proteins, including eggs, meat, and tofu. Tomatoes are rich in vitamins, beta-carotene, lopinat, and minerals, but they have one drawback, protein. A great addition to their nutritional profile is high-quality proteins. Are they all unhealthy? Not at all. As you age, it's important to include meat in your diet. The main reason is protein. Protein is the most important component of our body, which is used to form cells, muscles, enzymes, and hormones. A lack of protein in the diet can lead to poor dental health, pushing back gums or hair loss, and an inability to produce enough immune cells or antibodies to fight disease. Sure, beans and tofu are great sources of protein, but plant proteins are often devoid of essential amino acids or contain them in lower amounts. Animal proteins, such as meat, are digested by the body much more easily than plant proteins, making them increasingly important as digestion weakens with age. What's more, protein not only affects the muscles in our bodies, but also the muscles in our minds. The tryptophan found in meat is a precursor to serotonin, known as the happy hormone, making it a great remedy against depression and for improving mental health. Especially important is the vitamin B contained in pork, which activates brain function, preventing dementia. But be warned, there is one problem when eating such a healthy meat. The fluids in our body are alkaline, but meat is acidic. And that's where our protagonist comes into play, the tomato. Tomatoes are representatives of alkaline foods, and if they are consumed together with acidic meat, they significantly help digest protein and reduce stomach acidity, which makes them an ideal pair. In addition, the rich fiber content in tomatoes helps keep digestion normal and prevents constipation, ensuring a healthy gastrointestinal tract. The third worst tomato-based product for health is tomato ketchup. Ketchup is the most famous sauce, often served with French fries or processed foods. While these foods are already problematic on their own, ketchup exacerbates the problem. One tablespoon of ketchup contains about four grams of sugar, which is more than many chocolate snacks. But that's not all. A close look at the nutritional value of ketchup reveals that it is high in high fructose corn syrup, salt, synthetic colors and spices, and numerous sweeteners and food additives. 
Some people believe that ketchup containing tomatoes is healthier than other sauces. However, tomatoes and ketchup due to processing and various additives have already lost their nutrients. The third and last combination we recommend with tomatoes is definitely olive oil. Interesting fact, cooked tomatoes have more health benefits than raw tomatoes. This is because heating tomatoes destroys their cell walls, allowing the antioxidant lopin to dissolve easily. Now for the important part, you can significantly increase the absorption of lopin by up to nine times by simply cooking tomatoes with olive oil. Lopin likes fat because it dissolves much better in fat than without it. Olive oil, rich in omega-3, is the perfect companion. The oleic acid in olive oil is a good fat that helps lower bad LDL cholesterol and protect your heart. It also helps increase levels of beneficial HDL cholesterol, keeping your heart and blood vessels healthy. Polyphenols and olive oil create a powerful partnership with tomatoes, making this combination a top-notch cancer fighter. Tomatoes are special because the way they are cooked changes their nutritional value. You can eat tomatoes raw to get vitamin C, or you can cook them to get even more of the bursting benefits. So when adding fresh tomatoes to a salad with olive oil or cooking them, always use olive oil to maximize the benefits. So we've covered the three foods that go worst with tomatoes and the three best. Now it's time to summarize. Replace the sugar in tomatoes with a pinch of salt instead of pairing them with spinach, which contains oxalates, favor protein foods, and forego tomato ketchup in favor of cooking with olive oil. How's that for an option? Hopefully, by choosing the right companions for nutritious tomatoes and cooking them correctly, you'll ensure your health. What do you think about this? Do you agree with these statements? If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. More information on this topic can be found at the links in the description below this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.